Dupuytren's contracture is a problem affecting the tissue on the palm of the hand. Thickening of nodules and cords form in affected patients, which initially is painless and harmless, but more of a cosmetic issue. With time, however, the cords and nodules will thicken and contract, and they can bring the fingers in towards the palm. This becomes a problem because patients can't extend the fingers, and the fingers often will get stuck in a flexed position. Dupuytren's contracture and Dupuytren's disease causes problems for people once the contracture becomes significant enough that it limits things that they can do in daily life, like putting a glove on, reaching into their pocket, shaking hands. The mainstay of treatment for Dupuytren's historically has been surgery. Since the 17th century, surgeons have been uh, releasing the actual thickened cords and nodules to, in an attempt to get the fingers straight. This has been fairly successful. It's time-tested, but it's not without its drawbacks. Surgery has a longer post-operative recovery. Therapy is often required for several weeks or months. Skin grafting is often needed, and post-operative wounds can be difficult to manage. So it can be a challenging post-operative course. There is an exciting new treatment now to non-operatively take care of Dupuytren's contractures, and this is an injection of an enzyme called collagenase. Collagenase is an enzyme that's been isolated from bacteria and it actually breaks down specifically the proteins that are preferentially in higher concentration in the cords as opposed to the surrounding tissues. Commercially known as Zyaflex, this enzyme can be injected in the office and is a very effective way now to treat Dupuytren's contractures and avoid surgery for these patients. It's basically a three-day procedure. On day one, patients will come into the office once they've decided to have the procedure and their hand will be prepped out and the enzymes literally injected into the cords, usually three separate little injections. A little bandage is placed on the hand and patients are told to elevate their hand for a day or so, avoid strenuous activity, and come back in the following day. About 24 hours later, we see patients in the office. We give a little bit of numbing medicine to the patients and gently stretch out the contracted joints in the office. So at the time of the manipulation of the cord, often we actually feel a pop or a rupture of the cord as it releases and as the finger straightens out. This doesn't always happen. The day after the manipulation, we have a patient see a hand therapist to specifically make a splint. The splint is to be worn at night and it helps straighten the finger out a bit more over the next few weeks. Therapists will also teach patients simple flexion and extension exercises to work on regaining their motion and reduce swelling and within a couple weeks patients are back to full function typically. The results of this injection and manipulation really have been excellent and for many patients we've been able to take severely contracted joints in the fingers out to normal extension so they're normal appearing and functioning joints. So a collagenase or Zyaflex can be used for contractures of the MP joint or the PIP joints in the fingers. It's been a little more successful for the MP joint than the PIP joint, but both have been quite successful. Sometimes the initial injection won't get a finger completely straight, and we can do up to three injections total, so two subsequent injections can be done. The results at this point have been equivalent to the surgical results with a much less lengthy post-operative course and um, easier recovery. And the recurrence rate is as low as it is for surgery. Injectable Zyaflex has really been a great way to treat Dupuytren's contractures and keep patients out of surgery when a significant contracture has developed. Patients who've had treatment with both surgery and collagenase have often said the recovery has been much easier with the injection and uh, the overall experience has been a lot more pleasant.